And there we go. Now we should be recording. And so when you're missing class, um, I do put a recording out there for you. So if you're ever gone, there's no reason to come and say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because there should be a recording out there of our lesson. Plus, um, you can get to the notes too, I think. Did I put a link to the notes? Yep, the link to the notes is down there too. Okay, so here we go. Similarity transformations, okay? Again, last time I told you that dilations were a lot like translations, rotations, and reflections. Now what we're going to do today is combine translations, rotations, and reflections with dilations to have similarity transformations. Now remember first semester, when we had this composition of transformations, which one did we do first, the right one or the left one? The right. We, it's backwards from reading. It's backwards from the way we normally read. So we're going to do the right one first and then the left one. So we're going to take this big black one. That's how we start. A, B, C. A is at 2, 4. B is at negative 2, A. C is at 0, 10. We're going to first dilate it. We're going to do the dilation. That is 0.5, which means half the size. So take each of these ordered pairs and multiply them by one half. Well, what's two times one half? One. What's four times one half? Two. Okay. B is at negative two eight. What's negative two times one half? And what's eight times one half? How about regular four? <laughs> All right. C. What's zero times one half? Zero. And what's ten times one half? Five. Five. Okay. So our new points are zero, five, negative one, four, and one, two. Where are our last one's going to be? Well, whoops. So if A is four to the right, if A prime is four to the right of our line of reflection, then we go four to the left. So A double prime is going to be at negative seven, two. Okay. From one, two, it goes all the way to negative seven, two. Okay. B prime is two to the right. Then we go two to the left. So B prime will be at negative five, B double prime, negative five, four. C double prime. Started out three to the right. So then we go three to the left. So we're going to be at negative six, five. Okay. So that's a, how a similarity transformation works. Now, this one. What are the vertices when we do that similarity transformation to this? Should we dilate it first or rotate it first? Rotate it 90 degrees. Now, rotations are sometimes the hardest ones for people to get. Rotating 90 degrees, am I going to go clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. So, A starts at negative 6. Four. A prime, after a 90 degree rotation, when you go 90 or 270, switch the numbers around. And then change the signs how you need to. So we're going to be in the third quadrant, right? A was in the second, now it's going to be in the third. What are the signs in the third quadrant of both numbers? Negative. So then the 4 becomes negative. So it's negative 4, negative 6. B started out. B started out at um, 3, 5. B prime. Then if we switch the numbers around, we go 5, 3. And it's going to be negative 5, 3, because 
B was in this quadrant. So it's going to be at negative 5, 3. It's going to be like right here. A, that's a long ways away. That's at negative 4, negative 6. So it's way down here. All right, C started out at 2, 1. C prime, switch them around, 1, 2. And it's going to go into this quadrant. So it's going to be right there at negative 1, 2. Okay? So, we just rotated that 90 degrees. Does that look like a rotation of 90 degrees? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we're going to dilate it with a scale factor of what? 2. So we're going to multiply each of these ordered pairs by 2. So, what should A double prime B, Blay? Oh, all right. Preston? You can't see from back there? I'm wearing my old glasses, so I don't have the right All right. Well, you guys, make sure you remember your glasses, or else I'm going to have to move you. I'm fixing my, I lost a screw, so I All right. All right, Evelyn, help us out here. <clears throat> Multiplying by two. Negative eight, negative 12. Okay, B double prime. Where's that going to end up, Curtis? Negative 10, six. C double prime. Where's that going to end up, Abby? Negative two, four. Okay. And that's our ordered pairs after we did the similarity transformation. Okay. All right. What might be just a little bit harder is to figure out how we got from here to here. Now, does it look like a slide in a dilation? No, it's not a translation dilation. Does it look like a reflection dilation? It would have to be two reflections, but we can take, take care of two reflections when we do a rotation. How many degrees did that rotate? 180. So it's a rotation of 180 degrees combined with a dilation of what? Well, let's rotate it 180. So instead of 2, 1, we're in negative 2, negative 1. That's where x is. Instead of 4, 1, we're at negative 4, negative 1. That's where Z is. Instead of 1, 4, it's negative 1, negative 4. That's where Y is. So I'm going to go from here to here. Well, how long is it from here to here? 2. How long is it from here to here? 4. What's my dilation? 2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Okay. All right, vocab sheets. You're just writing down this much. A comparison of one or more rigid motions and a dilation. Hey, you need a vocab sheet.
All right. So let's look at the similarity transformation here. Which side do you think goes with SP? HG? Yeah, I think so. Because this looks like the shortest side and the shortest side. Which side goes with PQ? GK, right? Okay. So is that just a rotation? No. No. So this would involve a, like a reflection and then a rotation, and then a translation, and then a dilation. It would be all four of those stinking ones, okay? Now, you could maybe take care of a little bit of it. You could get rid of the translation if you like drew your line of reflection straight from, okay, P matches up to G. So if you did your reflection to here, then rotate it around G, and then dilate it from G. But yeah, that's what would be involved in that, okay? All right, this artist is copying her sketch to cover an entire wall. So this is her sketch, and she's going to make a mural on a wall that's 15 feet high by 20 feet wide. Is her wall mural similar to her sketch? To be similar, the angles have to be congruent and the sides have to be proportional. That was the first question on your quiz today. So is 15 over 20 high wide equal to 11 over 14? Are they equal? Don't think so. This is 0.75. Somebody with a calculator take out Take 11 divided by 14. Point seven eight eight. Repeating? Or, no, oh, point seven eight five something, something, something. They're not equal, are they? So, whoops. So, since they are not equal, since they are not equal, this will not cover the entire wall. What you have to do is then look at how you would cover the wall, okay? Since this is bigger than this, um, we'd have to match up the 15 probably with the, or it would it be the 20 and the 14. Hmm. Since this is bigger, if we'd match up the 20 and the 14 to be a new, See, that's the original. This is the new. So 20 over 14. That would be like a 10 to 7 ratio. If we took 10 over 7 times 11, 10 times 11 divided by 7 is what? Somebody take 10 times 11 divided by 7. Fifteen point seven one four, which is bigger than fifteen, so that wouldn't work. So it can't be a ten to seven ratio. So it'd have to be an eleven to fifteen ratio, or a fifteen to eleven ratio that you'd have to multiply each of these by. So the new one could be fifteen, but take fifteen times fourteen divided by eleven. Nineteen point zero nine. So it would fit on that twenty foot wall, but just barely. So this would be your scale factor that you'd have to multiply each of these numbers by. It is fifteen over eleven. Okay. An art museum gift shop is selling prints of a famous painting. The original painting was one hundred twenty centimeters by eighty five centimeters. Okay. If the print is fifty centimeters wide, how tall is the print? So we need to do work with proportions. 120 centimeters wide, 85 centimeters tall. So wide over tall. So since wide is here, wide is on the top, we put 50 centimeters wide over X centimeters tall. We cross multiply. 120 times X equals 85 times 50. Somebody take 85 times 50.
and divide by 120. Something 0.5, right? Something 0.4? What is it? Thirty five point four ish. Ish. Okay. It is about thirty five point four centimeters tall. Okay. All right. So what did we learn? Well, similarity transformations is the composition of one or more rigid motions and a dilation. A dilation has to be part of it to be a similarity one. Otherwise they're equal in size and they're not similar. Okay. So a dilation is part of it, and one more of the others. Two figures are similar if their similarity transformation maps one onto another. Okay, Their sides are proportional, and their angles are congruent. The last thing that we didn't really talk about, but that you need to know, is all circles are similar to each other. Okay, Because what's the one dimension of a similar, of a circle? It's what? It's diameter, which can be its radius. Radius and diameter basically, you know, can go into each other. So, as the radius grows, it grows the same amount on the whole outside. So, they have to be similar to each other. Circles with the same center point have to be circles to, or have to be similar to each other. So if you move the centers onto each other and then make them grow, they will grow proportionally, okay? Because there is only one thing, just the radius or just the diameter to grow, okay? So all circles have to be similar to each other. All right, so I will assign out your assignment. There is only one assignment today. I have to go drive bus at 2.30, so I'm leaving and Mrs. Landine will be in. Um... And yeah, that's about it. Is it assigned out there already? Yeah, I think I signed it earlier today, but that's before some of you got on Google Classroom. So. I bet seven out seven two isn't out there for Jack yet, is it? So Jack Meyer needs it, and Preston, you need it also, right? All right, it's out there for everybody else, right? Okay, go grab them. We will have a quiz over this on Wednesday. All right, hi ho, hi ho, to work you go.